but it is this relationships. Relationships are so important to us. You know, we all want to get on the high horse and talk about somebody that, you know, made an impact in our life. But uh, how are we really impacting other people's lives? You feel me? So um, a lot of people out there, they just taking people's hearts on a joy ride right now. You know, if they think it's cool to just get out there and have fun with a person, leave them high and dry. It's crazy because you got to get on there and Google all these new ner names and terms and, you know, what's going on and what's happening. You don't want to sound too old. You don't want to sound too young. You want to sound, you know what I'm saying? Just right for the person. This shit is bogus, man. I don't even approach people anymore. Like, if I'm intellectually attracted to you and I'm not 100% plant-based or vegan, could you not have a relationship with me? Because it's become speed dating on crack. You're not giving me the chance to get to know you by just throwing these labels at me and telling me this is what you are. Now, what if I'm not in the know of what these new labels are and I had to go spend the whole day trying to find out if you're some crazy lady or you just emotionally imbalanced? You know what I'm saying? So um, when you meet a person, do you just, hey, plant-based, vegan, you know, puppies, kitties, cannabis, for life, you know, non-abortion, you know, liberal, left wing. Like, it, it's gone too far, y'all. Too far. Now, you're talking to someone who read the hype report at the age of 11. So, I began seeing relationships, at, you know, just not from my perspective. At the age of 11, little girlfriends I was having, I got the hype report and started reading information that I was like, wow, these women are truly unsatisfied. So what I did, I went out there and my goal was to always satisfy every woman. And what this did, it helped me learn women more. I started listening more to what their issues was, not Mr. Just get in there and get out and, you know, hey, hey, tally up. It started becoming more so of, damn, if 70% of women said they never had an orgasm with their husband, what is it? Why are they still together? You know what I'm saying? If they said dudes are beating them up or even going through the back door and that's not something they like, they just doing it because that's their husband. Then, you know, I started looking at things. These were abusive things. These weren't just natural, you know, I love you, let's, you know, have fun and play and experiment. These were, you know, traumatizing things.